talk to me about um, revenue per truck that you shoot for before you know that it's time to order the next truck or the next dumpster. What do you associate, you know, increases in, in monthly uh, revenue before it dings and says, okay, it's time to get the new one? Well, so we don't really view it as much as like revenue per truck to when we buy the next truck. We view it revenue per, per like assets and revenue per um, about school. So like this industry is like, and we're still trying to get better at forecasting it. Cause like when you, when you, a lot of times because it takes time, you can't just, all right, we need trucks and get it tomorrow. There's a lot of downtime until you get that next truck yeah. as far as getting it registered and getting it wrapped and everything else too, and just buying it. And, the, and they're usually a lot of times custom manufacturers, the hook lifts we have on. So we're still trying to get better at forecasting that. Yeah. But typically we view it as, as if once we're at capacity with our, with the, not just our routing, but really our trucks. Okay. We're looking at this one spare runner that can either run containers if something goes down. Yep. Um, and then if we're booked three, four days out, we're, we're starting to lose work at that point. That's our ideal time to expand. But yep. we need consistency, right? One big week doesn't mean that you're looking for that consistency. Hey, how often are we actually booking out? Because yep. industry, it's a, a lot of it's boom, boom. So like most people want same day, next day service. So you can have, I remember we were still growing, but I remember there was a time where we had zero jobs one day. And in the very beginning, we had to, or zero jobs for the next day. And this was like in year one and whatever it was. And I, we didn't like giving guys, laying guys off, giving guys off because they wanted the hours. Yep. In the beginning, we knew it was because we weren't doing enough marketing. So like, all right, we'll have you come in the next day and we'll find something for you to do and whatever. And we booked like 16 jobs in that time span for the next day. Uh, it's crazy how like just by how much, you know, just when calls come in and they want to book, yep. you can book for that same day or next day. They're ready to do the work. So uh, it, it's tough to say. It's still something we're trying to get better at. But we like to say if you're booked out and, put, and turning jobs away consistently, um, and I, I think no more booked out in a week. Yep. You know, and that's the time you start considering that. Yep. Uh, but you have the capacity at the same time to handle whether it's staffing or whether it's, you know, not just your actual capacity with the trucks, but your, your staff, how many, as you add more trucks, how much internal staff do you need to add? Yeah. And that's why the big thing is having a call center is so important um, for people that like for the franchises, uh, just because it's not about, do you have, do you need how many guys to be on the phones at all times? It's how many guys do you need on the phones when you have surges When you get 10 phone calls at once? Do you have enough guys to, to handle that or get back to them quickly? Yeah. One of the worst things any business can do is not answer the phone. Sure. So that's where it, it, it comes down to. Well, I'm excited as we scale, we get more efficiency with our labor costs and the call center and more efficient with our, our dispatching costs and, and office costs just because, uh, you know, we, we, we don't technically need all day long. We don't always need the staffing, but we need it for those surges. We need it when that, when the fire out and the truck breaks down or people call out, we need those additional staffing options. Um, but as you scale, those industries get minimal if you scale properly. And that's why we're honing so much in on building our systems to, to allow us to scale.